Well done to J Rennell 107. Listen up for our next snippet. This one's a little tougher. Okay, that was short and sweet. What could that be? Give me your answers. You true Gaga fans will know that. You're not put off by the one second snippet. Just, uh, you guys are good tonight. Sophie Schroeder, well done to you. You get the bragging rights as well. That was Just Dance, take a listen. Wow, you were super quick with it tonight. I am impressed. Okay, we've got just seconds to go until Q1. So shut your Playboy mouths, flex those thumbs, get them nimble, and let's count it down. We've got 14, we've got 13, 12, 11. Hey, let's have some fun, this beat is sick. Time to take a ride on my disco stick. Here's Q1, what our Lady Gaga oh, fans called Stupid Little Debbies. Or Lil Wayne, just kidding. This is the true fanatics, not you casual fans out there. I'm sure Gaga loves her little Debbies, especially those zebra cakes. Yummy. Not quite as tasty though. It's her little monsters. That's what you call the fans. 287,000 if you knew that, didn't you? Monstrous answer there. Named for her debut album, the fame monster, little monsters stick by their mother monster through all her hits. And those flops too. Q2. What is this dress famously made of? It was an epic fashion moment that nobody wanted to recreate for good reason. You remember that? Is that made of meat, muesli, or madras? What was the ingredient for that fashion recipe? If you went full madras, you'd better worry because it ain't that curry. Flanked by flank steak, it's made of meat. Getting to the meat and potatoes of that one, 307,000 of you with a meaty answer there. Gaga chose the raw meat dress to accept her Video of the Year award at the 2010 VMAs. Sure, it would have smelled a lot better had it been grilled. Yeah, it's kind of stinky, you know? Q3. Which of these are lyrics in Bad Romance? I want your revenge. Swish, swish, bish. It's a party in the USA. Bad Romance was a huge hit we could all relate to in one way or another. If you're tapped on Swiss Swish Bish, you bishes must be Katie Cats, not monsters, begging for vengeance. Yeah, I want your revenge. And you got it. Didn't you? 294,000 if you got it. Forget a handsome, healthy partner. Gaga instead requested his ugly, his disease, his everything, as long as it's free. She don't want to pay for any of that stuff. That's for sure. Ready for Q4? Here we go. What's the name of Gaga's alter ego? Joe Calderon, Maxwell Demon, Roman Zelansky. Her version of Sasha Fierce. In a video on stage, just when you thought Gaga couldn't get any wilder, she stunned us with her male alter ego, some Italian dude named Joe Calderon. I don't want Gaga to get pissed, you know. Looking like straight out of Greece too or something. Joe Calderon, 211,000 if you remember Joe. Now if you thought she deserved an Oscar for Star Is Born, you should have seen Joe's chain smoking monologue at the VMAs. It was very impressive, I must say. Q5, what award ceremony did this moment take place at? It was absolutely hilarious. Was it the Critics' Choice, the SAGs, or the Golden Globes? Get out my way. It was everywhere, all over the internet, wasn't it? You remember this? 
No one was getting in Gaga's way of accepting that award. Not even you, Leonardo DiCaprio. She won a Golden Globe. After all, Golden Globes is the answer we were looking for. 247,000 of you deserve a trophy right there. The singer scored the honor of Be Best Actress in a limited series, but that Leo Shav was the true viral moment. I think we can all agree on that. Q6. Which of these is a lyric in applause? Botticelli with my belly. Suddenly the coons is me. Schnabel popping bottles. Three unique phrases. Which one deserves the round of applause? If you went for Botticelli with my belly, you get no applause tonight. So one second, I'm a coons. Then. <laughs> Yeah, suddenly the coons is me, and suddenly you got that right. Hopefully 147,000 of you did. That was a brutal question right there. Gaga's statement referred to blending art and pop. Jeff Coons also designed the cover art for her. Let's just call it underrated art pop album. You remember that one, don't ya? Q7. The music video for Paparazzi features the star of which television show, Glee, True Blood, Twin Peaks? My favorite Gaga video of all time. My favorite Gaga song as well. She poisons her shady lover in the beard, but he's used to drinking vile stuff because he sucked blood after all in true blood. That is the truth. 115,000 of you knew that. Are we gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the savage here at Q7. Yes, I am because 130,000 of you are out. 115,000 of you are still in the game. Alexander Skarsgård played a lady's love interest, only interested in getting papped by paparazzi for his own sick agenda, if you remember, in that very cool video. Q8. Lady Gaga's Netflix documentary was named for what? Her height, her aunt, a song lyric. Did you binge watch this one? Well, you couldn't really, because it was a one parter. If you went for height, you've just been cut down to size. Five foot two, eyes of blue is a song lyric. And you heard it in the documentary if you paid close to, oh my goodness, this was an extremely savage question here at Q8. 110,000 of you gone, 24,000 of you are left in the game. Use those extra lives and those levels right now. Now the Netflix doc brought us an unfiltered look at the five foot one star. She's a little shorty. She opened up about past loves, dealing with chronic pain and being dissed by Madge. Madonna, Q9. What was this tweet about right here? Got the Twitter fingers going. It made headlines. Was it marriage equality, platinum album or video views? You remember that tweet? She likes Twitter, Aunt Gaga does. Why? Yeah, it was an emotional day when the Bad Romance video reached a billion views. It took years for it, but this was the moment to celebrate marriage equality is the answer we were looking for. 28,263 of you on equal footing here. Lady Gaga has pushed for LGBTQ rights from the very beginning. She posted this tweet in 2011 when marriage equality passed in New York. It was a good day for all. Q10. In this scene, what does Ali say to Jackson after they finish their duet? What does she say right after that? I can't believe you. There's so many people. Or oh, thank you. Finally got to see this movie on the plane the other day. And yeah, I cried. I cried. So did you. Don't lie. Well, he could have at least warned her, right? The song was shallow, but the crowd was rolling deep. There's so many people. That's what she said. Thousands and thousands of them, like 14,211 of them, going from a small drag bar to a huge stadium. Ali totally freaked out, but she rose to the challenge despite Jackson jacking her song without asking. That was kind of rude, Jackson. Q11, Lady Gaga stars in the American Horror Story season that also features what? The Zodiac Killer, Evil Santa Claus, The Supreme. Don't wanna meet any of these guys face to face. To be honest, she's been living her American dream but was The Walking Dead in American Horror Story Hotel. The guest you pray never checks in, The Zodiac Killer. 
Yeah, 10,914 of you slayed that one. Gaga starred in the fifth season where she played the Countess, a blood-sucking but bloody stylish vampire. I like those, those leather gloves. Q12, we're gonna keep on going. Which Real Housewife did not cameo in the GUY music video? Lisa Vanderpump, Bethany Frankel, Colton Gebbia. GUY girl under you who was not the girl down under. There was something surreal about seeing Andy Cohen in the role of Zeus in this vid, but frankly, Frankel didn't make the cuts. Bethany Frankel, that is. 6,000 of your 922 made the cut, though. Mother Monster recruited members of the Beverly Hills Housewives for the videos you can see there. there are Lisa Vanderpump and crew. As a New Yorker, Bethany was snubbed. No fair. Q13, is this your lucky number? What is Gaga's pet name for a co-star in this video? Hello, hello, baby, you called, I can't hear a thing. I have got no service in the club, you say, say. Is it Honey Bee, Baby Bee, or Queen Bee? Is that my phone ringing? Stop telephoning me. I'm kind of busy, you're kind of busy. Get off my phone. Now we all know Beyonce as the Queen Bee, but Lady Gaga had her own pet name for her sidekick, catching more flies with Honey Bee. That was her nickname, 4,265 of you with the sweet answer. The Pop Pals teamed up for telephone and enjoyed two of Gaga's favorite pastimes, dancing and poisoning people. Sounds like lots of fun. Q14, the penultimate round. The Born This Way music video opens with a score from what famous director's film? John Carpenter, Quentin Tarantino, Alfred Hitchcock. It was an epic opening, as only Gaga does. Began with an alien territory in space, some bizarre infinite birth, and the score from Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Pretty eerie. Who got the eerie answer? Alfred Hitchcock is what we were looking for. That was a toughie. 1,575 of you nailed it, though. Not everyone was a fan of Born This Way, if you remember. Madonna expressed herself, calling Gaga reductive. We just call her inspired. Now, were you born this way to win? We are about to find out, because we are dancing into the final round with 1,575 players left in the game. We've got 285 using extra lives to get back in. We've got $5,000 in the bag tonight. Good luck, little monsters. It's Q15. Which of these items does Lady Gaga not have trouble finding in the lyrics to Just Dance? Phone, wallet, keys. Just dance, everybody. Just dance it off. The three items you should never leave home without. It's not fun to lose any of them, but when you're clubbing that hard and you can't see straight anymore, it happens, doesn't it? Gaga couldn't find her man or her drink, but luckily she could buy another one because she still had her wallet on her. It's wallet for the win tonight. We've got 721 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations to our 721 winners tonight. Your pockets, your wallets are a lot fatter with $6.93 more to your name. We've got Mrs. Jimmy right there. We've got Smookie's got the big smile. Uh, GMZV, uh, you're a little monster. You're a big Gaga fan, I can tell by those shades. Apple Crunch and you quack. Uh, Kathy Cox, 17 as well, just 721 winners in the game. You made it through 15 questions on Gaga. You are truly true fans. Well done, HQTs. You handled that game like true superstars. You came, you played, you slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me on the socials. Stop by, say hi. Don't be shy. Now, Lady Gaga Night is not over yet, everybody. We've got HQ Words coming up next, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, just a few minutes away. So make sure you tune in for that with my girl, Anna. All right, I'm out for now, but I will see you soon, you little monsters, you. 
Bye.